I've been on surf trips all around the world, but nothing really compares to what I experienced in Iceland. The idea of stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing some cold water trip to the Arctic and exploring a new country really excited me. Surfing there was like nothing I could have ever imagined. We're talking 42 degree water, wind chill, ice cream headaches, massive chunks of broken glaciers just floating through the lineup. Nothing could prepare you for that. It's unlike any place on the planet. You'd stand up on a wave surrounded by these snow-capped mountains and not have another soul in the lineup. Just couldn't help but be in awe of what I was experiencing. The reality of doing a surf trip to Iceland isn't so simple. It's a lot more than just riding waves. I think it's really more of everything else around it. Everywhere you look was just complete, untouched beauty. It's all of the elements that make for this deeper adventure and experience, and it makes when you score waves that much sweeter. Oh, it was really cool. We were approaching one of the last days of our trip, we by chance stumbled across this empty oh, beach break that we saw breaking from the highway. We launched the drone and flew it all the way out to the beach and saw these A-frame peaks. The only problem being between us and the beach was a 30 minute trek through a glacier fed river. But when we got there, it made everything worth it. Walking away from that session, it's possible that we were the first people to ever surf this wave. For me, being in Iceland for those 12 days really reminded me that sometimes just stepping outside of your comfort zone and embracing the unexpected can not only amplify the adventure, but can lead to some of the most worthwhile experiences that life has to offer. It's trips like this that remind me why I'm a surfer.